Hi there, it's Ms. Novakowski coming to you from the studio at Grower Elementary in the Richmond School District. The math game I'm going to share with you in this video is called Black Hole. And all you need for this game is a piece of paper, two different colors of markers or pencil crayons or crayons, a pencil to draw your circles, and some strategies that you bring. Um, you'll also need a partner. This is a two-person game. And this is sort of what the game board looks like. And again, it's black hole. There's a black hole there. We'll find out um, how we get to that black hole as I explain the instructions for this game. Okay, to play black hole, you need two people, a partner. There's my partner here. And two different colors for you each to write your numbers in with. And then another color, I'm using black, because it's gonna be a black hole eventually, to draw the triangle shape that will be our game board. So to begin, we draw that game board and we draw six circles across the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the next row, we draw five. So we're drawing one less in each row to form that triangle shape. Two, three, one, two. And there's our game board. So now my partner and I take turns writing the numbers one to 10 in this triangle. So there's six plus five is 11, plus four more is 15, plus three is 18, plus two is 20, plus one more is 21. So there's 21, we're each gonna write 10, so there's gonna be one circle left over and we'll color that in and that will be our black hole. So I'm, I'll start, you can do whatever you do normally in a game to choose who goes first. And then I'm gonna to have to write both here, but my partner's gonna write one there. I'm gonna write two here. Now, the more times you play this game, the more you realize what sorts of strategies you can use um, in terms of putting numbers together. I haven't played this very much. So, one, okay, I'm a one, two, three, the purple one. My partner now needs to put four. I'm gonna put purple needs to put five. I needs to put six. And I need to put another number here, seven. And they need to put seven. I've already lost track, so I need purple. Do I need purple eight? Yes. Blue nine, have they done nine? Nope, nine, and then do blue 10, and they do blue 10, purple 10. Okay, so now we've got all our numbers back and forth, one to 10, my partner in purple and me in blue. And the next step is to color in, you'll have one empty hole, and that becomes your black hole. And then that black hole, black hole sucks in all the, um, all the numbers directly around it. So this one is in the middle. If it was on the edge, if it was a seven, it would be these four here. If it was at the top, it would just be those two, the ones directly around it. I'm just gonna color those in. Oops, see that one's not supposed to be colored because I was talking while I was playing the game. So we'll leave that as a blue seven. So again, here's our black hole, and then these six around it. So those ones we aren't going to use. So this one is still good. We're just gonna pretend there. Okay, so now each partner needs to add up what they've got left here, and whoever has the greatest score is the winner. So my partner has added up all their remaining circles, used some mental math strategies and has received a score of 33. So now I'm gonna add mine up. I'm gonna look for maybe, hmm, let's see. So I've got a 10. So start with my larger numbers, 10 and nine is 19. I'm just gonna cross them off as I go. 10 and nine is 18, or 19, plus eight is 27, plus three, because 27 and three makes a 30. So I'm gonna use that one, 30 plus 36, six is 36, plus five is 41, plus one is 42. 
So, oh, plus the seven. So plus the seven, that's 40, 49. So my score is greater, so I won that round of black hole.